welcome back. Today we have a new activity and it stems from the book that I read called Roosters Off to See the World. And so in that story, parents and friends, you remember the rooster made friends. Let's go back and look. Let's see. Let's refresh our memory on the friends that he made. He made friends with some cats. He made friends with frogs. He made friends with turtles. He made friends with fish. And they went on a trip. And so parents and friends, today I would like for you to do a fun activity at home. Doesn't require any money. You just need parents um, to get your child some paper. They have plenty of paper. I usually send home color paper, uh, construction paper, white paper, more markers and crayons every week so they don't run out of paper and crayons and markers. So what I would like for you to do is have your child, because this is an interest in my own Zoom, my kids um, speak about the animals that they like. So what I would like for you to do is have them draw the animals from this story that they like, you can discuss this. Um, it can be even the animals that aren't in the story. It could be maybe they like dogs. There were no dogs in the story, but they can draw uh, dogs, roosters, cats. Um, if they like even butter butterflies, if they like fish, if they like ladybugs, they can draw them on their paper. And then if you remember in the story, it kind of turned into counting so just say if your child likes ladybugs and they write they draw like five ladybugs then you can turn that into a teachable moment and say okay how many ladybugs did you draw and then you can have them count one two three four five six if they draw six ladybugs if they draw four fish you can have them count the fish after they draw so it's not just like they're drawing they can draw and they can design what animals or insects that they like but then at the same time you can also encourage them to count how many insects or animals that they drew on their art paper okay so that is an activity I would like you all to do and I would love to hear about what you chose and so teacher Caroline's favorite is butterflies and then they have some fish in the story so if I was drawing fish and ladybugs I would draw maybe 10 ladybugs and then I would probably draw maybe like seven fish so then you can have them parents if however many like I said if they draw you can have them count it afterwards so we can have them encourage them to draw their favorite animal any way they like. I want them to do it their own way. It doesn't have to look perfect like in the story or like an actual fish or a ladybug or butterfly or cat, whatever they like. They can draw their own way. And then after they draw it, if they draw more, like I said, more than one, then they can count it afterwards. And I would love to hear about what favorite animal my kids like and what they chose and how many they counted, okay? And I'll see you on the next activity. Bye.